Hello everybody, this is Solus44 and welcome back to another episode of Galactic Chickens. Um, I'm here to say that, uh, first of all, that you, you don't want to mess with Enderman when you don't have armor on. Check out me flying. Super Solus! Anyway, um, that's all fun. Any K. I want to talk about real quick the fact that I was indeed able to confirm that using a very fast ow what the you're angry angry enderman um yeah let's put my armor back on this is crazy all right let's do that where's my at there's my that's my my rear end we don't want to look at my rear end my computer to see it seeds that it doesn't want to I wish my model wasn't so ugly when I put that armor on I'll make some better armor this guy's mad so this this cleaver is made specifically to collect um, skulls that's why it's so weak and if people are wondering well why don't you make a super powerful ultra look it does 24 damage with looting three on it that's pretty good um, but I want to say that it does not kill the dragon in one hit so it's not the ultimate okay there is probably a lot stronger but okay I want to confirm I was able to glitch I didn't do it on purpose, but I guess I, I wanted to see if it would work. I had made just enough... These guys are annoying. I had made just enough uh, these crystals to summon the dragon six more time, six times total to get my basic tier model for my deep mob learner. See, this is basic model, eight to go. If you notice that it it's it's eight to go, that's because it's actually killed more. What happened was I got him. I got the dragon down to almost dead, and then I just sit there and throw these demonic, um, this infinite throwing star, and it does it so fast that the computer conti uh, continually counts the deaths of the dragon, even though I only killed it one time. So I have all these leftover in crystals now. Um, I don't know what I'll do with them. Maybe I'll use them for for bombs or something. I don't know. But I got myself one more dragon heart, another dragon egg, some enderman heads. I got some more useful stuff. I'm going to go ahead and fall into the portal and get out of here. All right, that takes me back home and it's dark. Let's sleep. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and set up the. Um, we're going to go visit Bob here. Why do I keep fl I keep flying everywhere I go, even though I put these travel anchors down. That is so much faster. All right. Now, we have, do we have an open, we have two open ones. Yep, there's an open one, there's nothing in it. You're going to take it out, just like this. And then you place that inside there. It's going to be basic metal. 5% chance of getting pristine. Now, without the pristine, I can't set the loot fabricator for what I want out of the uh, pristine. But I can do this. I can say... Well, that's a dragon. And we are going to go fight the glitch um, in another episode. I don't know how far away from that it is, but I'm definitely going to. So let's take a look at what I can get. I can get the dragon hearts, dragon eggs, dragon's breath. Or I can get draconium dust. Hmm. Hmm. I don't need the draconium dust. But these hearts and eggs and the breath are actually three things. So I could set up one for each. I'm probably going to do that. Let's go ahead and set one up. I don't need that many. Let's just do three. So I tell it three. Loot fabricators. Get a crafter. There's only two. Um. I'm always needing crafters. I don't know why I don't just craft a stack at a time, but I, I don't know. I really don't know. And we're going to go ahead and place it right there. Oops, sorry about that. Glitch. Now it's going to face the wrong way, of course. And there. So I know it seems kind of tedious that you can only make one of the different loots from these fabricators at a time what well, we're gonna need energy too but you just have to create multiple it's the same thing goes for the carpenter from forestry uh, when I cover bees we'll talk about that and then I'll need item conduits one item conduit 
actually. I love Ender IO cables. Being able to be placed on a node, boop, and then you just make sure that you have it extract, done. So the crafter will insert the pristine into here, and then uh, out at the bottom it'll extract, it'll go into this interface and be put into the grid, and then I'll have access to it. I know it's look kind of ugly. I'm not really, I really don't care. <laughs> this is inside Bob, man. This is, Bob was the point. Bob's a builder. Bob uh, is a builder. Don't demonetize me. Uh, do I want to set up another one? For right now, let's, yeah, let's go ahead and set up one more. See how easy it is? I just put it down. It doesn't matter which way it's facing as far as that goes. The sidedness is top and bottom. Just remember top and bottom. There you go. And then shift left click with the wrench will get you into how this works. I hate that it doesn't show the color properly because it's a, it's a higher tier um, power. And then crafter. Once again, the crafter just has to touch another item in refined storage and it automatically becomes part of the grid. And that's it. Now I just have to wait for this bad boy to produce me some uh, pristine. In the meantime, I could go looking for some thermal data models. Okay, so these are overworlding data models, so they have to be... Oh, look at that. It even tells you how much it costs. 256 RF a tick. 120. I'm curious. How much do these cost? These uh, higher rated ones were... Self-aware is going to be the best. So let's see this one. 880 RF a tick. So this is where you're going to use your power. Oh yeah, this is definitely going to be where you use your power up. That's not too much. 340. So you add all this up, it's quite a bit. I mean, imagine if you had these running constantly. Where uh, you could set it up so that it automatically was importing the pristine into the top of those and automatically outputting the drops on the bottom. But I like having the variety of different items on demand. It, it gives me better control. You could, you could in theory, have it just constantly running. I mean, if you think about it, the data model for the zombie produces so many different variants. It would take quite a few. I don't know. Maybe I'll do it. Why not? I don't know. Shulker pearls are really interesting to have. So maybe the shulker data model producing just the uh, shells is not as a big a deal as I you know, want, but I don't know. It seems to be okay. I'll go ahead and put away my extras. All right. Looks like we're good. Yeah, so I wanted to, to do this video real quick just to confirm, confirm like for sure the killing the dragon with the shuriken and using the glitchy method where you can hit it so many times really fast while it's dying does count towards more kills. It's already dead, but the computer can continually uh, talks about, um, thinks about it as being killed each time you throw it, I think. So you can get a really high rated uh, data model if you really wanted to. Uh, okay, so this is an auto breaker system setup. I don't know if I covered it. This is basically the most cheesy way I've seen of getting um, melon slices. You just put auto breakers um, facing in the cordial directions that this, the melons could produce and then block off the ways you don't want it to go and then you'll just be able to collect them up. Uh, immersive engineering is becoming a thing. I'm going to be working on that in the server and that will be a definite new episode soon for the server. Uh, Galactic Chickens, get it on the Twitch launcher, open free server. There, I said my little spiel again. Episode 33, 4, I don't know, even know anymore because I'm cutting and splicing things together so fast right now that I can't even keep up. Um, but we're going to create a pattern right now for the pristine dragon. Which, oh, we've already got two. See, there we go. So right click on it. Oh yeah, you gotta have it in processing mode. I don't worry about the or dictionary with this one, just in case. Right click on it. Now I gotta wonder, do I want dragon hearts, dragon eggs, or dragon breath? And I'm gonna do two 
So I'm going to do, um, I want to do dragon hearts for sure. Dragon hearts are very, very useful for making items um, for Draconic Evolution. And so the question is, what do I want to, what can, oh, hmm, 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 do I need more power? No. Let's say I don't. Let's say, oh, I do, I might need those. What was that good for? Makes the wings. Which, if you haven't heard, to get the wings of the bat in the server, all you have to do is get a double compressed block of grains of infinity, uh, throw that inside the hopper on the riddle tree, and you'll be able to get yourself some wings of the bat. Which would be like skipping over having to empower Diamantine and getting a nether star and dragon's breath and these bat wings. So it's a pretty doggone powerful item. Um, but other than that, it don't have that many uses. Uh, the dragon heart, the dragon eggs, obviously to make the ma uh, probably can go in that way. Yeah, there's a celestial manipulator. I'm going to want that. And I don't think I'm going to do magic bees. I don't, I'm probably going to use industry instead. Let's go ahead and go with the, uh, the dragon egg. So now we can make dragon eggs, and we're going to take both of these with. And the dragon hearts on demand. Well, for, for however many of those pristine um, matters we've got. Now it also produces extraterrestrial matter, and you can use that in crafting as well. So let's set this up. We put these two guys in the back for a reason. We're going to say this one is dragon egg. And therefore... One of these in here equals dragon egg. And now it is set for dragon egg. And that's all. Every time now, every time now, if uh, pristine goes into it from uh, pristine ender dragon matter goes into this system, it will produce me an egg. And then this one is going to be the heart. Let's go ahead and set that up for heart. So we, we place this inside here and click on heart. And now it is going to be set for hearts. So there you go. And it pulled it out, so everything worked just fine. There, on camera, everything ready to go. So nothing really fancy. Uh, it does take quite a bit of power to run all these. And it's going to get more expensive, especially that this one right here. I think it's going to, yeah, look at that. 2,560 RF a tick. And that is at advanced tier now. Once this data collected, see it says 6 out of 300. See as it goes up, when that data gets to 300, it's going to go to the, to the next tier. I mean, believe that's superior, supreme, superior, superior. That superior level is, I believe, I'm not 100% sure, is going to increase the simulation cost. So the cost is going to continue to rise. Uh, let's see, this one's 512. It still has quite a ways to go before it reaches that data model uh, of... Um, I think it's called self-aware. I believe it's self-aware, yeah. Same thing with this one. That one's getting there. So it's got a while before I can get to that point. That one's almost there. So yeah, when I come back to this area, I will show at one point what the self-aware is all about. I wanna wait until all of them are self, well, some of them, this one's really close. 575 out of, 900 so this one's over halfway there and when they get to self-aware i'm then going to fight the glitch i'm going to fight the glitch so that i can get the glitch armor uh, mostly for my collection but also because i think it looks cool all right so i think that's pretty much it for this episode i know that it's been it was a really short one i know you don't want to hear me rattle on forever anyway but uh oh wow i used up a lot making those um Biscuits of Totality, or whatever they're called. What are these? Biscuits of Totality. I made quite a few of them. They use up a lot of mana, but I mean, anything that gives you full food. Pretty cool. Alright, this setup here is not going to change a whole lot. Um, I decided that I'm just going to pretty much set this as done. I will be doing one thing for sure, and that is, uh, I want to take out this Demon Metal. I don't like the way it looks. The demon metal, uh, it's not ugly, right? It, it has the orange trim, so it goes along with the copper trim. But the red itself kind of clashes to me with the more blue um, tones, the light green tones. 
yeah. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull these. And in any case, I don't need to... I'm going to use this demon metal for something anyway. I don't know. We'll see. Let's see. Let's see. Because now in the inventory, I will show... The, did I show this? I don't know if I showed this. Let me show it again if I didn't. Look at the, uh, the amount of materials available now for tools. That's right. The OP um, list right here. And also, now that we have this in there, we can now use pyrothium inside the Tinker Smeltery. I haven't done a speed test. I ought to do a speed test. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll do a speed test off camera where I craft a stack. Uh, I, I smelt a stack of something inside the ore or something like that inside of the smeltery with lava. And then I'll do it with pyrothium. And then that way we'll be able to tell the difference on whether they're one's faster than the other. There's also a fluid from Twilight Forest. I think it's like liquid fire, fiery, fiery water. I'm not too sure. I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, now here's a glitch that I noticed, and I apologize for my lack of um, work I put into it. Honestly, I didn't feel like fixing it. You'll see that these um, zirconium and all these are here. And then you go to the next page, and nope, oh, there they are again. Um, there's one reason why I haven't removed the mod that added this page. And that's because that mod adds the emerald and the star metal. Notice that there's no star metal on these. When you make it, I can't tell you whether the chaos from here is going to take effect. Or if the chaos or the awakened is going to take effect from the other one. They are both listed. As you scroll backwards in time on this, you'll see they're listed again. So you'll have this one, and then you'll have the other one. And they are different, and they are a lot different. I, I believe that the first set is the ones that goes through. The second set is not. But I, I'm not 100% sure. I do know that I've made uh, this, and I've got this uh, energy repair in 2 OP on my laser. Energy repair and 2 OP and then energy eater because I use two pieces of draconium, draconic evolution type stuff. And then also for armor, let's go ahead and check out armor. Armor materials, same thing. So now we have the ability to do some really cool stuff. Now, when I get into astral sorcery, I love astral sorcery. I really do. And I'm purposely avoiding doing it, not because I couldn't have done it already. But I'm avoiding doing it because on uh, my previous videos in uh, another series, I, I focused on making star metal and star uh, a lot of uh, astral sorcery. And I'm going to do it again, but this time I'm going to do it really specific and on camera so that people can see some of the things that I needed to do. Uh, and I wanted to make sure that I had a really good base setup for that first and I didn't have to go through and edit a bunch of video and whatnot. But also because I wanted to make sure that I covered other things other than star metal and other than, um, you know, your attunements and things. But this is really cool. Thaumium and Thaumcraft and I don't get along too well. I did it uh, plenty of times. I will go through it just because I know that it's going to be people wanting to know what's going on with it. Uh, but I'll tell you right now, these two materials are awesome. The alien effect that you see here is not what you will get. As far as I can tell from the star metal, um, it it's based on your attunement. You should be getting you should be getting this ability that gives you attune uh, based on your attunement. Um, wait, no, that's for tools for the tools. So for the tools, star metal does the does the based on your attunement. So let's go to star metal here. There, I'm a superstar. The effects depend on the player's attunement. And I really want to play with that. I really want to check out what it does to you, where, what direction you go with that. The Illuminati, um, it's a really cool way to see creatures through walls and things. And it's super handy if you go to Twilight Forest. And I have a feeling we're going to have to go to the Twilight Forest. I did not set up. Did I set up the pristine? Did I go? I didn't even go to the Twilight. I never even went to the Twilight. So if I type in pristine matter. I never did. On the server, I have um, gone to the Twilight now, and I'm going to go get 
the Twilight Pristine Matters because they're very powerful items and um, they're useful. Uh, let's see, right click this, you can get the Naga Scales, you can get Charms of Life, Charms of Keeping, Paper, and a Book. And uh, this one, the, the uh, Twilight Swamp Matter, which is one of my favorites. It gives you Steel Leaf, Raw Iron, and Fire Iron. So you get all of those along with Hydra Chops. Hydra Chops, man, look at that. 36 bones. Man, that is a lot. That's more than a thankful dinner, I think. Gold and Mushrooms on demand, which, honestly, Mushrooms on demand is pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, raw, raw Iron and Fire Ingot, these are useful for making really cool Tinker's weapons and uh, armor. Which I've turned myself around on, if you can't tell. I am starting to like. Now this comes from the Urgast area of the Twilight Forest. It's a Twilight Darkwood matter. It can get you Carmenite, but it, the big one is this Armor Shard Clusters and Diamond Ore. I mean Diamond Ore. Yeah, di and Emerald Ore, and then Fish. I don't, I don't know. Whatever. The Glacial gets you Arctic Fur, Yeti Fur, Ice, Feather, Charm of Life charm of keeping i like the fact that you can get ice because the packed ice is useful for um making these frosty souls fr frozen pearls to clear out the um feral flare lantern lights and i think it can be used to make cloud seed yeah so you can make it so that you can terraform with it but mostly because of this the whole reason for me to have an infinite number of ice and snow is for the frosty generator if you're going to create a rainbow gen you're going to need some way to keep an ice going through it and that's one of the easiest ways to do so uh, i'm gonna go ahead and put away this um do i have so the pyrothium says has 37 uh 3700 degrees celsius i don't know for sure if that's fast or not let's check on our chickens and then we're going to head out for the day i have my awakened draconium going it looks like real slow and I'm out of ter I'm out of seeds from my ter I'm not really that big a deal on those. They're fine. I'm they're fine. <laughs> the awakened draconium one's pretty big deal. I probably will work on breeding those up to to ten ten ten, but I'm really not in a rush. Uh, we're not going to get to oh, the draconic part of this mod pack for a long time, and I'm not a big fan of going through it again and again. I do need to come up with a material for this though. What do you think, Greenwood? Or how about these uh, framed Dreamwoods? What do you think? They don't look bad. So, can I make that right now? They don't look bad. I don't know. They don't catch my eye quite right. I don't know. Tell me what you think. Comments below. Oh, planks. Haha. <laughs> so... Take a stack of planks, and then you take the planks. There, that should be more than enough to cover all my spots. I don't know. Give me hell. I don't care. Tell me my stuff looks bad. Tell me it looks good. Let me know in the comments below what you think in general. What I should cover next. I mean, I'll skip over something and go right to something else if that's what's needed. If you need help with something, I will do my best to on camera help you. Uh, I'm not gonna guarantee it because I, I'm just not. I don't know for sure if what I do will, first of all, whether this is even reaching anybody, but second of all, if it's really all that great of a thing to do, whether I'll do it or not. Like, I'm not going to sit there and farm the, the wither now that I know that I don't have to. But if you ask me to do it, I'll go ahead and make a wither skeleton, or wither, uh, wither, a wither farm, a nether star farm, if you would like. Now that I know, I was going to create some uh, reinforced obsidian, create the killing zone, all that jazz, but I just didn't do it. And this thing stinks. It is the worst fishing net ever. You must have to have a bunch of them. Barely have any fish. Do have some puffer fish. I converted all the other fish over. So anyway, that's enough jibber-jabber for me. You guys have a great one. This is Solus44. Oh, ooh, let's get this armor off so I can look at least what I normally look like. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good one.